Hello, graduates of the Congress. I wanted to reach out today because we're having a problem and I was hoping that I could get some ideas from you unbelievably smart young men and women about how to overcome this problem. And it has to do with all these people who receive our nominations because they are so bright and they have so much potential. The people, and you know, because you are sitting there, who absolutely deserve to be in that seat just the way that you did, but who get our nomination letter in the mail and then throw it away or don't consider it seriously because they think it's, quote, too good to be true. And maybe it's a scam and maybe it's not everything that they say it's supposed to be. What do I do? What do we do? It is a tragedy to think that these young men and women are not going to have a chance to have their lives changed, to be inspired, to learn how to overcome their obstacles, to have what you all have now, which is that helping hand, that little edge that can make all the difference when you want to get into the school of your choice, have the job of your choice, the internship that you're dying to have. When you really want to get all the way to your potential in life, you know, because you were there, you experienced it, how important the Congress can be. One of the things so many of you said to me was that you think looking back, when you're at that great achievement and you've achieved that fantastic pinnacle of success and you think, how did I get here? How did this all happen? What a wild ride. That you will actually look back at the Congress as one of the most important experiences that you ever had to inspire you and motivate you towards that moment to that great achievement, to the greatness, as we've talked about, that lies within you. But it's a tough problem, and I don't blame these students and parents. There's a lot of scams out there. You know, there's a lot of folks trying to rip people off and take advantage of them. And you've got to be careful also because you only have so much time there. You've got to make choices for the summer. What am I going to do? Especially as super bright kids like you, you have got so many choices. So we are just trying to figure out how do we once and for all overcome this? How do we make sure that no one that receives our invitation thinks it's anything except what it really is, which is an incredible honor and a once in a lifetime opportunity. But to think that someone would get our mailing and look at it and throw it in the trash, it just, it's, just makes me so angry. It frustrates me and I don't know what to do about it. We have tried making this uh, look not only really important, but also have Nobel laureates who sign our letters. We have deans of medical schools on our website talk about how incredible the Congress is. We have unbelievable inventors, I mean, household names, the top, top folks in the world, winners of the Nobel Prize, for God's sake, the greatest prize in all of the science and technologies and medicine. And they are talking about how great the Congress is and what an honor it was to be there and be part of this. And then, of course, a million young people on social media, well, not a million, but tens of thousands, talking about how incredible and life-changing this experience was. So I can't take it anymore. I don't want the possibility that anyone who gets that invitation in the mail does anything but open it and explode with excitement and believe what's in that letter. Every single word of it, as you know, is not only true, but it's all even more than what we say it is. So help me out. Send an email. Go ahead and text me. You know how to get in touch. Give me some ideas about how we can make sure that every high-achieving young person who deserves to be at the Congress really gets our nomination and gives it the consideration that it so, so deserves. Thanks a lot, and I appreciate your time.